Oh, man, I hate Mondays. No, nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. Grab a cold one. It's Bruce Day, Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here's Drez and Big Nate. What does that sound mean? Well, we're drinking something. We're drinking something. It's Bruce Day Tuesday, brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg, which is where I purchased these so long ago. I've been sitting on these for a while, and the reason I did that is because, well, it's not beer, so I felt like it was probably okay shelf life-wise, although, honestly, maybe not. I, we're doing science. I should have looked to see if it does say I didn't know, see... a drink. By, oh, oh, under here. Oh, they put it on the bottom. Then. There it's is, not important. There is a date. Now, I don't know if this was when it was made or when you're supposed to drink it. No, it, so says, it, it says February 22nd. 2024. I got May 10th, 23. Ooh, so yours is a little bit older. I, I feel like, at least from what I understand, something uh, uh, recently came up. California is changing their Best Buy, Sell Buy. Yeah, I heard about that. Thing. Like if cool. it doesn't have a Best Buy or a Sell Buy or expires on... Then you should be good. Then that's probably just the canned on, now, packaged on... I'm guessing day. that's not... In effect, when this was done, of course, and also this is not California, is it? Uh... No. So I, either way, we're fine as long as we don't go to California. If you're watching this in California, we're making irresponsible decisions. Yeah. Well, either way, uh, again, this is not beer. This is Flying Embers, which if you know anything about Flying Embers, they do hard kombucha. So I just poured their Pineapple Sunset. It, has, it says it has notes of pomegranate and coconut. It is a uh, zero sugar, zero carbs, which I do like both of those. And I also like that it's 8% this bad boy is. And it, has, it does have the full nutrition facts over here. So I got 155 calories in this 12-ounce can. And then everything else, it's just zeros. Zero fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein. So not too bad for to get something that's 8% pretty hearty. And not a lot of the other bad stuff. Some calories and... Fairly healthy unless you're a liver. Yeah, I've got right. the uh, Flying Embers Wild Berry, which is elder, raspberry, and goji. I, I've never seen a goji berry in my life, but uh, I'm going to drink one. 4.5% uh, hard kombucha and uh, 85 calories in total. Everything else, zero. Mm -hmm. Except for protein, 20... Mm -hmm. Or no, I'm sorry, not protein. Uh, vitamin C, 20% of your vitamin C for the day. So... uh uh, sunshine in a can. So again, these did come from the seller. Now I've been sitting on these a while. This is from the seller back, back when they were a sponsor before and I was out there. Uh, so I'm not sure if they still have these. Cause like I said, they did, they did switch up. They they're remodeled. They're remodeled. They don't have quite the shelf uh, space as they used to. So they don't have as much as they did before. I don't know if the hard kombucha section is still thriving over there or not, but you can definitely, uh, you can definitely give it a shot and try, and it might be worth it because, I mean, I'm only one sip in, so I can't untap it quite yet. But this definitely is not uh, not too bad, especially for having sit for a while. So I actually do drink kombucha. You know, we had BBN; she's been making kombucha for a while, and I do enjoy it. Now, I also like having a alcoholic beverage, so this seems kind of like the best of both worlds. So I mean, I mean, this was way back in dry January that we did the uh, kombucha show, but. You know, I kind of left with, this is damn good. And every time I'd had kombucha prior to that, it was always like a sample size. And I was always like, eh, that, that, that's, and I think it appeals to the same side of me that like sour. I like nature doing its work. I would be intrigued to know, and, and, and we'll find out after drinking this, how much goes into making it hard kombucha. Like, is this like the devil's cut of a, jar of kombucha i have no idea because and i guess you know it does there is the fermentation process with kombucha so it's one of those things where there is slight alcohol and all the yeah. ones that bb's making at home and stuff obviously we don't have a way 
I mean, maybe, I guess there's a way you can purchase it and do it, but we don't check to see. And, and it does depend on how long it's fermenting because it's, you know, eating that sugars and that turns it to alcohol. So honestly, I prefer the ones where she doesn't let them ferment as long because they're sweeter because the sugars haven't fermented. The ones that are in there longer, I guess maybe they have a higher ABV, but they're going to be way more sour and not as much to my palates, which is liking right up my alley. And, and, and just the, the, the time it takes, the effort it takes to do something like that. I, I, I mean, I don't know how long flying embers has been in business, but you got to assume they're using a similar mother that they've been using for years. Cause I mean, you're the SCOBY. I guess mother's vinegar scoby is kombucha. Yeah, when you said mother, I went to see so yeah, a scoby is what the, the I don't even want what you'd call it, but the kind of the backbone of yeah. the kombucha. You need a scoby. You got to skim it off. You give your it, it's like making sourdough bread. You just got to give some mm -hmm. of the. That's where I got mother from, sourdough bread. Is During the pandemic, we all got into making sourdough bread. Did we not? No, I, I never did, but I do know. I thought they called it something else. They don't call it a mother. They call it a, oh, well, I guess they give a little bit of it and they call it a starter. And then you got to kind of build on it and make it to a mother, I guess. I don't know. I, I just, that stuff still never, still so weird to me. I love sourdough bread, but it's so much work. Like you're, if I'm buying flour in bulk, we've got a problem. I'm not a baker, damn it. Sourdough is damn good. That's that's got to be up there. On a, on a cold winter day, you get a nice sourdough bread, some soup. Oh, you're in business. But better people make better sourdough bread. Thick cut sourdough bread is the best for like a, just a nice big hearty sandwich or breakfast sandwich. That's oh man, I'm getting hungry. I am any time of day. I'm any time of year. Always ready for some sourdough. There's apparently a, a deli in New York City that has been using the same starter for like 200 years. I believe it. Which is, I mean, unless where something my fascination with the kombucha comes from, like how long has the starter been going? How long can you maintain a scoby? If you take the end of a mop, that the handle, if you replace the handle, but you still got the same mop head, and then you replace the mop head down the line, is it still the same thing? Yes. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, the the whole kombucha thing is a bit different. So, it, and it's surprising because, like I said, BB, she she's all in on the kombucha making and stuff. But for whatever reason, she's not. She's anti or just not interested in hard kombucha. Like I got these, and back when I was just like, wait, we still haven't done this show. Uh, you know, hey, we I got some hard kombucha. You just want to drink? She's like, no, she don't want to. And I've come across it before. I think she's tried it. I think I've just gotten it for it. It's just, maybe it just feels like it's anti, you know, kombucha is supposed to be a healthy thing. And then if it's got, you know, if you're drinking it to drink, it seems like it's anti that, I guess, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's like getting your uh, meal supersized, but then you order a Diet Coke. I don't know. That, that's got to be that a, far. Maybe. She was a big Morgan, she's a big Morgan Spurlock fan. Crafted and brewed. By fermented sciences, this they are out of California. Well, right. we've got to talk about your dates stamped on the. It's does yours have the USDA organic? It does. All right. Well, this is organic. It says superfruits and adaptogens, dry fermented live cultures. So that's what I was wondering. So, do you think that this still has all of the like gut health benefits, even though it's eight percent and canned and and drinking like that it says live cultures USDA organic gluten free, uh, non GMO vegan keto, all sorts of stuff. So mine's got live probiotics, which is what helps your gut health. But there's an asterisk next to it. Oh, there you go. I can't find the follow up to the asterisk though. I don't think I saw that. It it uh, certified organic by organic certifiers. This product is considered a beer. No gluten. No gluten. So yeah, honestly, but I can't it, find the follow up to the asterisk. This is it just left me hanging. So I will say this: I know it can be tricky to find, and well, not now. There's a lot more options out there. We did a gluten free show before. You, if you have celiac and stuff, you can still drink beer. However, this could be another good alternative because I think, I mean, the seltzers and stuff; those are gluten free, aren't they? Yeah. So I feel like most seltzers, people that divers. are probably 
Yeah, ciders for sure. Wine is probably gluten free, I would imagine. But but this has the benefit of not having the sugar, zero sugar, which is pretty surprising. I mean, as far as an alcoholic beverage goes, I don't know if if we've come across one that's healthier than this if, that has zero sugar, zero fat, zero carbs. That's pretty and twenty percent of your daily vitamin C. Well, that's this this will keep the doctor away for a while. Mine doesn't say that it's good. Maybe yours is different, has different uh, nutrition facts than mine. Are you still at 155 calories? 85. Oh, so yeah, yours well, is... Well, yours is double the ABV, though. True. So they they took away the vitamin C, and all of a sudden the... Uh, I don't know, yours, is, up. yours is four and a half? Yeah. All right, mine's nine, so... I mean, that's still... Yeah, I would be hard-pressed to think we could find anything healthier, except for maybe... Guinness has a lot of nutrients, but it still has a lot of carbs. Yes, but carbs can be good for you. Yeah. Your body does need carbs. All right. But don't you can't just you can't live off just this. You can live off just beer. That I don't know. Fact. Maybe you could live off this. I don't know. All right. So not as, we need not, to you, find, won't, you won't be we, as strong. <laughs> we need to find someone to be the control group. You can do the hard kombucha. No. I'll do the Guinness. I'd rather do the beer over the butcher. It's just got to be Guinness. Mm. Meal in a can. Mm. Three times a day. All right, let's 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 think on this a little later. Let's go ahead and untap these bad boys. So this is hard kombucha from Flying Embers. I have the Pineapple Sunset, which is going down really easy. I, honestly, just statistic-wise, like I said, we've been, we've been talking about the nutrition facts and the fact that you can drink something that has zero carbs, zero sugar, zero fat, 8%. That just baffles my mind. And and the fact that it actually does taste decent. I mean, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite alcoholic beverage to drink. It is definitely different. If you don't like beer, if you're one of those people, which again, I don't know why BB doesn't want to try and the hard kombucha stuff, but this is quite tasty. I am getting the pineapple for sure. I mean, you can pick that up on the nose. Pomegranate. Yeah, I'm not too sure what pomegranate tastes like. So I'm not I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm picking that up or not. I don't really drink pomegranate. Or eat it. It's wildly inconvenient to eat. Yeah, is it a fruit? All right. Yeah, it, but it so it's it, the word grenade comes from pomegranate because grenades are shaped and packed like a pomegranate, but essentially you break open the fruit and then it's filled it's with It's one of those ones that's a lot pods. of work, isn't it's it? It's so much work, but damn it's delicious. All right, yeah. That's now, what, now they've now started I, selling it like unwrapped for you. Now I know why I've never had it. Yeah, it, it, it's so much work, and the juice is not necessarily worth the squeeze. All it's right, like crab meat. Fair enough. Well, again, I don't know. I'm not familiar enough to know if I'm getting the pomegranate notes. Thankfully, I'm not really getting a lot of the coconut. I'm not a big fan of. I like coconut and candy, but as far as like coconut as a mixer with alcohol and stuff, coconut rum and all that kind of crap, I'm not a fan. So, not getting too much of that. This definitely does seem like a nice kind of tropical, co refreshing cocktail. And at 8%, you can get in trouble with this because it's gone down quite quick. It's practically gone. In fact, it is gone. It's tasty. I'm going to give it a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Pretty solid. Uh, yeah, High praise. Uh, kombucha is one of those things, that, as I mentioned earlier, kind of appeals to that sour side of me. This, to me... It's kind of like candy. Um, it goes down real easy. I mean, you've you've obviously encountered that. I like the wild berry, elder, raspberry, goji, which I still need to find a goji berry uh, to know what the hell they look like. It's an easy drinker. It's got a lot of health appeal. The other thing you notice is, in, in you had a higher ABV, so you could probably correct me on this if I'm wrong. You can't taste the alcohol. I wouldn't know this was an alcoholic beverage. Yeah. I remember we did that in a show where we didn't know the ABVs and we, cause I feel like you can usually tell higher ABV and stuff. I wish, I wish I had thought you would ask that question before I finished reading it, but it would have been hard for me to guess that that was a, that yeah. high of an ABV. I would say like this to me just tastes like I'm just drinking juice regular. Yeah. And, and, and absolutely delicious, beautiful color. I feel like the lack of, because all the sugar gets used in the fermentation process with none of that residual sugar. I mean, this could easily replace like 
seltzer or cider for me. This is this is phenomenal. Um, I'm confident that uh, I might like yours more over there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm gonna mm-hmm. give this a four. Flying embers, wild berry, easy four. All right, there you go. Four on the untapped scale, which is how we like to rank our beers, rate our beers, I guess I should say. It's a free beer application you can download to your cellular teller, cellular device, and you can uh, you know check in and do all that fun stuff. Dres Drinks is my handle. Big Nick Danger across from me. If you want to friend us on uh, the untapped app, you can certainly do so, and we will happily accept your friendship. Now, we're going to take a break. We'll drink some more of this sort of stuff, and then I do have an announcement. I do. We, there's something we need to discuss and and, okay. and let the inform the listeners about. All right, we'll Fair do enough. that next. It's Bruce Day Tuesday. Stick around. <laughs> 